A small forest ecosystem includes caterpillars, songbirds, bobcats, and coyotes. It says, based on this simplified food web, what would most likely happen if the bobcat population increased? A. The caterpillar population would decrease. B. The songbird population would increase. C. The songbird population would decrease. Or D. The coyote population would increase. So let's have you pause the video, try to figure this question out, and then when you're ready, we'll go over how to do it. All right, let's talk about this question here. So we see here we have a picture of a caterpillar, a songbird, a coyote, and a bobcat. Well, it's not really a bobcat. This is actually the channel mascot here, Tommy the Cat, who is my pet cat. You know how Nintendo has Mario, Donkey Kong, and Link from The Legend of Zelda, and PlayStation has Crash and Spyro. Or at least they used to. I guess that was... I guess that was a really long time ago now. I don't know if they still have Crash and Spyro, but anyway, the channel mascot here is Tommy the Cat, and in his mind, I'm pretty sure he views himself as a bobcat, although he's really the most indoor cat you'll ever see. The closest he ever gets to birds is watching them through the window, but since in his mind, I'm pretty sure he thinks he's a bobcat, that's why we have a photo of Tommy the Cat here in this uh, question. So basically, what we have to think about here is if we increase the bobcat population, all right, how is that going to affect the other population? So the idea with any food web question is the arrows always point up the hierarchy, all right? So in other words, the arrows point towards the animal that's higher up in the food chain, all right? So some people get confused sometimes when they see, like, see this and they would say, well, here's a caterpillar and the arrow is pointing towards the bird, so the caterpillar must eat the bird. But just note that that's not how you want to interpret a food web diagram like this. The arrows are going to be pointing towards the animal that's higher up in the food chain. Okay. And on practice test questions put out by the GED testing service, this is how they show it uh, with the arrows pointing uh, towards the animal higher in the food chain. So just know that you want to keep this in mind for your test here. All right. So that's the first thing to know about interpreting a diagram here. And the second thing is you have to think, you know, if, the bobcat population is increased, all right? And the bobcats, there's more of them, so they're going to eat more songbirds. And if the songbirds eat the caterpillars, but we have fewer songbirds, the caterpillar population, it's, would not, it's not going to decrease. If anything, it's going to increase because there's less songbirds to prey on the caterpillars. All right, so the caterpillars get a break in answer choice A. Uh, what about B here? The songbird population would increase. Well, if the bobcats eat the songbirds and we're increasing the number of bobcats, logically, more songbirds will be eaten by the bobcats. So B is, is not correct here because we would expect the songbird population to decrease, which is why C is the correct answer. But not so fast before we go into the next question here. Why is D wrong? All right. This is an important concept to understand here. Okay, if at the top of our hierarchy here in our small forest ecosystem, we've got bobcats and coyotes. They're at the same level of a hierarchy, so that means that they are going to be in competition for food. So essentially, if there are less bobcats, that means there's more food for the coyotes. And if there are more bobcats, that means that the coyotes are going to have to compete more and more with the bobcats for food. So more bobcats is going to mean probably fewer coyotes because there's going to be more competition for food. If it's harder for the coyotes to find food, more of them are going to starve, and unfortunately they're not going to make it. So the coyote population would decrease. All right, so here we're picking on the coyotes more so than the caterpillars. So the answer is C. The songbird population would decrease. 